Welcome in to the Arkansas Sports Network's Hometown Sports Football Preview. Proudly presented by Arkansas Tech University, D3 Auto Sales, and Metcalf Trucking and Trailer Repair. Today we're visiting with Rogers Mountaineers head coach, Chad Harbison. This Pigskin Preview is sponsored by First Community Bank. All right, I'd like to welcome everyone in here. This is Duran Miller with the Arkansas Sports Network. We've got our Pigskin Preview here with the Hometown Sports. i got Coach Chad Harbison here of the Rogers Mountaineers. Coach, uh, been at the helm now for four seasons. Had a Pretty good season last year. You, you were talking to me there off camera for a bit about um, y'all been able to host the playoff game in the last three years. Right, um, right. And that's the first time that, you know, since it's been a long time since y'all were a normal playoff contender every year. Yeah. Um, that, yeah. When we, when we took over, we thought it, it was, we felt like we could get relevant in our league again. Mm -hmm. it, it, it'd, be a, it'd be a good first step. And we feel like we've got, you know, I've gotten ourselves in a pretty good spot now. You know, we, now we're struggling to get to that next level and, and compete for the conference championships. Yes, sir. So you came up eight and three last year. You took down North Little Rock in the first round, and uh, that pesky Bryant, who's still really good. They they didn't win it last year for the first time in about six years, right. but uh, but um they were able to take care of business with y'all. Had a close game. You said you're going into to the fourth quarter. It was about a yeah, ten point game. We closed the gap. It was about a ten point game going to the fourth quarter, but you know they pulled away from us late. They yes, sir. Still, like you said, they're still a very talented group. Tell me a little bit about your background. How did you get to Rogers? Well, I, was, I, I came to Rogers with uh, Coach Ronnie Peacock in, in 2005 and was here for a few years. And okay. then I uh, went on to Heritage and we opened that school. And then we got my first head coaching job at Harrison. And then there's a stint in Rossville and the head coach at Elkins. Uh, then went to Fayetteville for a year and then back to Rogers. Wow. So it's, that's kind of, I've traveled a little yeah. bit, but uh, ended up in a really good place. Yeah. And Ben, you know, you, you named a lot of places that have a lot of tradition as well that you went through. Um, um, really good to visit with you here today and learn learn a lot more about the, the Rogers, you know, what y'all have done here and uh, the Mountaineers program and how you're trying to turn it around um, and, and, and having success in doing that. And, you're just trying to get to that next level now. Uh, talk to me a little bit about last year's team. Uh, first off, what kind of offense do y'all run? Well, we're, we're, we're basically a spread spread offense. Uh, so, you know, last year we, we had you know, Dane Williams as a quarterback. He was a two-year starter that's now playing the Hardy. But, uh, you know, I mean, we had 20 seniors last year. It was a pretty unique group. They, most of those kids out of that 20, most of them started as sophomores. So we had a lot of experience on that team last year. Uh, probably one of our, our bigger, stronger groups. We were really large in the skill positions. And, uh, you know, and then, you know, a lot of good returners on defense. We were really good linebacker last year. And, and so we had we had the pieces last year, we felt like. We, but then we had injury bug, you know. We felt like we had some guys that were kind of nursing injuries most of the year. But, you know, we had, had a really good group. And it's, you know, we're going to miss a lot of those guys. Very yes, talented sir. group. So, how has spring looked out here in, in this off season? And uh, talk to me a little bit about some of the, the new guys that have a chance yeah. to contribute, or some of the older ones that are still here that have to step up. Well, and I, I, think, I think the good news is we have some some key pieces back on defense. We, you know, starting up front with with a guy named Nesto Gonzalez. He's going to be a three year starter for us up front. He's really really good and. Uh, inside backer, Corbin Norris, and then we have corner, uh, Cam Cunningham's back, and, and then Marcus Mouse has been a, a, played a lot of football for us the last few years at safety. We moved okay. him down to linebacker. So we've got some guys that have played a lot of defense in there. And then, you know, you throw Braxton Lindsey in the mix. He was an all conference backer as a, as a freshman. And, you know, he'll be coming in as a junior this year, and he'll play a lot for us. So Got a lot of good pieces back on defense, you know. Yes, but, sir. Uh, and then graduate what we did on offense. We we break, we're going to start basically nine new guys on offense okay. this year. We've got uh, Aiden Liger coming back in the offensive line. 
and then Alan Perez coming back. But other than that, we, we're, we're all new on offense. So, you know, it's, there's nine new starters, and, and there's only two seniors that right now that are, you know, right. in the mix offensively. So we, we've, got, we've got some young guys in there, but they're doing a good job. Um, you said Lyburn, was he a Aiden? Was he an offensive lineman? Yes. And yeah, he started center for us last okay. year. We're going to move him out to tackle this, this summer. And, and left tackle? Or? Yeah, he'll play left okay. tackle for us. But yeah, he's a really good player. Perez, what does he play? He's going to play uh, guard for us. Okay. Or center. He'll, 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 he'll bounce back for us. Okay. He's a good interior guy. How did the, what's the junior high been looking like the last couple seasons? Really good. Really good. Uh, you know, we've, we've got a group of freshmen in here right now, the, the Elmwood group in seventh and eighth grade, and they, it, they lost one game right. in two years. So that's, nice. that's, they've got a lot of success coming over here. Uh, you know, both of, our, uh, both of our junior high groups, they're our middle school groups mm -hmm. that are coming over to be, become our freshman teams, what I'm talking about, right. are, have, have done really well. i got really good staffs over there. Our numbers are good. Uh, there's a lot of excitement about football in Rogers. So that's... It's been good to help us build that program from that from that level up. Yes, sir. Our, our freshman teams the last couple of years have gone eight and two. Nice. Two years in a row. So nice. We've had some kids that are yeah are, are just starting to be accustomed to having success. Yes, sir. It's always a good thing for sure. Um, as a uh, talk, talk to me about your staff a little bit. You you're the head coach, obviously, but uh, are you also one of the coordinators or? Well, you solely the head coach. I've turned it over this year. I've, I've been know. calling it, but I'm, mm -hmm. I've turned it over to Coach Brill. Nick Brill's our offensive coordinator. Okay. Uh, he's, he he played in our system. We we coached him years ago, and so he understands. He's kind of grown up in our system, right. and so he's been around a lot. So he's real comfortable there, and I'm very comfortable with him. You know, and it's 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 one of those deals we've got. We've got so much familiarity with each other in the office. Right. We we work together in, in other places throughout. And so when I was able to put the staff together, I was able to hire a really really good group of coaches. That that number one, when most of us already knew each other before we ever started working together, or we had worked somewhere in the past. And then a lot of the guys have been in our system, right. and so it, it's been, it, the transition into the offense has been pretty good. Uh, Coach Williams, our defense coordinator, came from Texas, but he's a guy that I used to work for at Silent Springs years ago. So okay. he, you know, he's had his head coach experience, coordinator experience at the 6 nice. level in Texas, and he does an outstanding job. He's really, really flipped our defense. I mean, we're we feel like we can we can play toe toe with anybody defensively. Nice, that's really great to hear. Um, Y'all, uh, talk to me a little bit about. Uh, We've talked about – you mentioned the defense there. Talk to me a little bit about uh, – you know, we've hit on a little bit about getting to that next level. Yeah. What do you think y'all y'all really need to do to, to possibly do that? Well, you know, to take that next step. You know, I mean, we're in a really good league. You know, right. with a, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of good players and, and right. definitely uh, high-quality coaches that, that, yes. we, that we play against every week. So, you know, I think I think the number one thing for us is just uh, – we. It, it's, it's got to be built through a culture of of kids that are, are unselfish that are going to be willing to do whatever it takes to win and, and not not worry about stats, not worry about the things that that you know that really don't matter at the end of the day. It's just do we do things right? Do we do the little things to work together? And yes, sir. can we be great at doing the, the little things and uh, you know give ourselves a chance and not worry about who gets credit? You know, and I think. I feel good about this group of kids. They 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 really have a good time when they're up here in practice, and that they're they're a joy to coach, and nice. uh, they're real responsive to what we ask them to do. And so, I, I think anytime you have that kind of mindset with your players and, and your coaching staff, and you're on the same page, it gives you an opportunity to have some success. Yes, sir. Uh, so, what would you say that your uh, your probably your biggest strength on this team coming up? This this upcoming season would probably would be yeah I, defense <laughs> yeah defensively I think we got a chance to be really good again we've been really good the last three years but I think we have a chance to be really good again and, and uh, we probably have gotten a little bit better uh, mm -hmm. in the back end uh, mm -hmm. this year uh, we got some experience coming back back there which which is valuable in this league uh, and then I think you know just our front seven I think our 
our defensive line, our outside backers, very active. And uh, you know, I just know when we practice against them, it's it's a it's a challenge, mm-hmm. and it, they certainly make us better. But uh, nice. I, I do feel like that that should be the strength of our team. It's very we're young in a lot of places, but we're really young offensively. Okay, right. What else? I had a feeling you were going to say you, you, you hit on that. Um, well, I do like what you're saying on, on defense. So, like, it's also nice, I've, as I'm noticing here, you know, you talked about Gonzalez, a defensive tackle, and Cunningham, and Corner, and Morris, who played safety, kind of played linebacker. You got three guys there at three different levels so of your defense that are kind of right. key guys. Yeah, yeah, that's, you know, that's, really, yeah. that's really big when you can when you can have that. So, sounds like the defense really has a chance to be special again, like like they've been the last couple of seasons. Um, Got to got to get some young guys. Got to build up the offensive line. You got a couple guys back, right. but uh, everywhere else you're you're pretty new on offense. Yeah, Nine new guys. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, what's you, crazy is we got we're, we're starting, you know, sophomores and juniors in there, and mm-hmm. it's just when you're playing young people in this right. league, it it's tough. It's, it's it, it can be tough, but you know we're we, we like them. They're talented. Right. And they're playing. They're working hard. So. Do you have a quarterback battle or anything we, like that? You, we're we, gonna settle. We're kind of. It's been unique, you mm-hmm. know, for the last couple of years. We we basically worked with one or two guys. This year we got five guys mm-hmm. that are taking snaps every day, which is kind of was kind of unique. And uh, so we've got, you know, I, mean, I, I can't. I mean, we got one guy just moved in here, so it's hard to. I'm not sure about him yet, but we got four guys that. You could see, right. you know, which is kind of crazy to say, but yeah, you know, we'll get it worked out between now and the, right. in the season, and, and, and we'll, you know, find out who's going to rise to the top and who's going to be that guy. But, but we we like our options there. Yes, sir. Well, it sounds like a, a team that uh, is on the up. It's you, your record's gotten better um, since you've been here. Um, eight and three last year. Or eight, I'm sorry, eight and four last year, and uh, got that win over Northwood up in the playoffs. Right. Um, real quick before I close here, we uh, you, you told me you left and kind of helped start Heritage at one point and right. then came right. back. So what's that like now? That kind of a rivalry there with with your cross town. Yeah, yeah. I mean, being on both sides of it at one point. Yeah, but it's, it's one of those deals where you know it's, that's that's a game you obviously want to make sure you you, have, you you put yourself in a position to win that game. It's right. uh, but uh, it it kind of right now it's just one of the deals where you know we just kind of focus on yourself. You, you got to take care. You got to take care every week. You know you can't just because that's our week ten opponent right mm-hmm. now. So we just kind of we'll worry about that when it gets here. Right. But, but uh, yeah, it's it's a game you certainly want to win. So I'll I'll end with this. Uh, what does Rogers have to do to be a successful program this season to to continue to be Tracking in the right direction. Well, we're going to just continue to get better. Be, be, we're going to have to be a team that gets better throughout the season. Our non conference schedule is beefed up quite a bit. This mm-hmm. year, we're playing uh, Thorbo Rock to open the season, and we got Muskogee, who's a 6 8 yeah. state champion in Oklahoma, and then, and then we're going to, to Sherry. And, and, and yeah. Yeah, we'll coach Kelly, Kelly down there. I don't know what's going to happen when yeah. you play his teams are so good. So, Except punting. You won't see much of that. You won't see any punting. <laughs> You know, we're going to play fourth down defense, you know, but uh, we know that. And so, you know, I think it's those, but those games are, are the games that we've scheduled to hopefully prepare us for what yes, we're going to see when we get in the league. And that, I think we're going to have a team that gets better every week. And, mm-hmm. uh, and everybody can say this we, we got, we kind of got beat up last year. We had some guys that were playing that weren't 100%. And I think we just kind of control, control reps and, and keep guys healthy. Mm-hmm. You know, that's a big deal. I mean, right. especially some of those key seniors I mentioned to you earlier, it, it, those guys got to stay up right and stay healthy and be on the field for sure Friday night to give us that opportunity. But, you know, that just maintain a good culture where kids love playing and love playing for each other gives us a chance. Yes, sir. Well, you heard it from the man himself, the head coach here at Rogers, Coach Chad Harvison, uh, year four, and uh, really uh, got things going in the right direction. Excited up here to uh, to hear what he had to say about his team. Um, can't wait to get find out what how it's going to actually you know end up going and uh, see what happens with y'all this year. It's really nice meeting you, Coach. I appreciate it. Thank you.
Go Mountaineers. Thank you. Thanks again for joining us on the Arkansas Sports Network's Hometown Sports Football Preview. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the Arkansas Sports Network on YouTube to catch more previews and all the latest updates on your favorite teams.